Okay, Assalamualaikum. So, this is a video uh, or hands-on tutorial about Microsoft Access. So, for this one, we are going to proceed to on how you are going to create a button on the form. Okay, I'm going to open a blank database here. Okay. Okay, as you can see, a very quick hands-on for this one. Uh, for your information, in order for you to have a description, you need to choose uh, the design view. Okay, name. Uh, okay, this is the design view, and again, this is the data sheet view. Other than this one, you can change into this one. Okay, on the bottom. Okay, this is the design view. And this one is the oh I cannot press this one because I have something here. Wait. Okay. Uh, can you see? Uh, this symbol is here on the bottom design view and form view i cannot press this one i'm not sure why i just may, can manage to change it here but you can change uh, under the bottom here okay next to the caps lock okay you can use this one i'm not sure maybe because of uh, i'm recording right now so the uh, there's a pause and uh, function button of my recording okay so again go to the design view at here Okay, um, for number actually, uh, when you use the telephone number, it started with the zero. Uh, okay, and then when you key in the number, it will change uh, into starting from number one. It's not zero. So, you can change that one with uh, short text. Okay, for example, uh, this one I'm going to give you an example of company. Eh, sorry, for um, maybe student. Okay, student name. And then I'm going to make it as a state and telephone. And maybe the date of the student, uh, uh, date of birth. Okay. Date of birth. Okay. Okay. For this one, just to send this one, this one is a uh, student full. Make sure you have the description for each of these state state uh sorry state of the student okay where the student came from and then telephone number so since you want to maintain the telephone number you can change this uh change this one to the short text okay name i'm going to advise you long text because some of the student uh, have a long name okay for this one you change to the date and time okay can you see uh if you choose number okay i'm going to assign this one is uh maybe income change this one into number okay so can you see this one we have a format so maybe you want to have a format of rm okay for this one uh parents income date of the birth okay Okay, for date and birth, uh, we want to change this one, the format, as uh, you can choose this one, okay? Uh, this one, this one, so I'm going to use this format, okay? So, when you have done this one, and then you are going to change to the data sheet view, and the question will ask you whether you want to save the table or not, just yes. Okay, so now you have this one, okay, right? have the student name okay i don't want you to fill it uh, here but i want you to key in by using a form so how you are going to use in the form just choose the create button create okay again in create button uh for your individual assignment you are going to create you already create a table here so this is the symbol of the table you are going to create a form you are going to create a query and you are going to create a report okay so this is the requirement of your individual assignment so now we are going to create a form why because i want you to add your information through the form choose the form okay 
So again, uh, you have three uh, design here. You have the form design. Okay, this one is uh, for this one, the first one, okay, or this view. You have three view. The form view allow you to key in the data. And this is the layout view. Okay, you can design in the layout view and then the design view. Okay. So, you can use uh, this one first. Okay, form view, design view. Okay, so we are going to proceed to design. Oh, I cannot use this one. So, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to the layout view. Okay, so what happened when you have a list of uh, uh, a list of field? For example, a state. Okay, so uh, you need to choose this one. Okay, again, this one is the text box. Okay, the yellow one, yeah, orange one, this one is the text box. Okay, this one is the labeling like ID. This is the button. Okay, uh, this one is the tab control. This is the link. This is a uh, link you to the browser. Uh, we are not going to use this one. Uh, this is the combo box. This is the list box. And this one is the chat box. Okay. Uh, but for your syllabus, uh, you are not, uh, do not need to know all the button. But in my uh, teaching, I'm going to teach you on how to add a button. Okay. So, this is the button. Okay. Put it here. Okay. Can you see this one? You have a lot of categories. The first one is record navigation. Record navigate or in other words, you need to find uh, the record. Find next, find record or in other words, you search the record. Okay. And then you have the record operation. For example, you want to add new record. You want to delete the record. You want to du duplicate a record. You want to print the record or save the record. Or you want to have the undo button. Okay, and then you have form operation. Okay, this is the form operation. What do you want to have with this form? Report operation. If you want to print the report, the application, you want to quit out. Okay, you have the quit button here. Okay, so you have a lot actually. But uh, for your, uh, for this semester, I just want you to have only two button. The first one is I want you to have the add button. Add new record. Because I want you to key in here. So, you can use the picture or you just want to use the text. So, I want to use the text. Okay, add. And then, again, the add button. Tada! Okay, so you have the add button. And then, I'm going to want you to have another one which is uh, the search button. Create a new button here. Go to record navigation and find record. So, easy for you to look for the record. Okay. So, this one is search. You want to use a picture? It's okay. Okay. So, simple as that. You have two. I'm going to show you after this how to look for this one. Okay. And then, you are going to have a list of, uh, a list of, uh, list in the state okay so state is one of the field you we uh, you need to choose the list box okay just uh add uh add to this one okay so you are going to type the value that you want next okay uh for example state um kada this is uh, the state that I can remember. Kelantan. KL, no. LM, Melaka. Okay. Uh, Negeri Sembilan. N. <laughs> MNO, P. P. Perak. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pulau Pinang. No, uh, uh, you, uh, you need to list full. But this one is just example. And also I need to put my state. Which is Terengganu. Okay, then uh, store this value where we want to store this value in the state. Okay, and then next, you want to uh, put it here is list, list of state. Okay, and then finish. Okay, can you see here? So, you have a complete form. Okay, so I'm going to show you in the table. 
we are not going to have a list of state here it's just only in the form okay so now we proceed to the form view when you want to add the information you need to use the in a form view okay so i'm going to use this one name maybe uh, muhammad hakimi for example and the state is maybe i'm going to choose uh, negeri sembilan okay when you choose this one it will be uh what we call appear here instead and then telephone number 019-970-4949 this is my telephone number and the date you have set in the date here just click this one and the income okay what is the income maybe 67100 okay okay see it changed into the format okay and then add okay so we uh, type again uh what else tiara tiara mutiara okay this one is also from negeri sembilan because i want to show you on how to do the query zero one two 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 three four five six okay when you use this one as uh, a short text uh you can appear, uh, maintain the zero in front okay so the date uh just choose the date but you need to choose the date properly okay for this one maybe five three o o okay add and then um ryan uh and muslim melaka zero one one three 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 four five six seven date of birth choose the calendar here and then choose this one and the income maybe uh two three o o o and then add okay my sa my sarah my sarah mukmin okay uh, this one is from pula pinang okay telephone zero one three three four five five six five six of birth i just uh randomly choose the date class you can change it uh here actually okay the year everything and the income may be 15 12 oh, oh, oh. okay Add. okay so let's see what happened in your table okay you do not have nothing here yes you do have just uh, click the design view press save and then go again to the data sheet view okay so you have all the uh, data that you have key in in the form okay so we're going to proceed to the query what happened when you have a certain certain query for example you want to have a student with negeri sembilan go to, to the query choose the simple query wizard okay you want to choose uh, maybe the requirement asks you to have the id the student name and also the state go to the next oh my god my baby so name this one and then finish okay so you have the query so what do you want to have you want to have choose the state of negeri uh, sembilan only so un unclick the melaka unclick the pulau pina and then okay and you want to choose this one as a sorting okay so i think uh okay so <laughs> already sort Okay, if the requirement asks you to sort, you just choose this one. Uh, you need to choose uh, whether to sort that one A to Z. Okay, so you have done that, done this one. Okay, for your assignment, you are required. Oh, sorry, you are required to change into the. I mean, in the uh, design view. Okay, can you see this one design view? You have clicked this one, so you need to print this one. Okay, you need to print in the design view not in the data sheet view or not in the sql view so you just print in the design view okay so this is the query can you see the symbol of the query green this one is uh maroon and uh this one is the form view okay so what happened when you want to have a report go to the report oh forget if you want to have a report you need to save the table of query you need to close the query first okay so go to the report okay so this is the uh, report of the uh, query 
eh, sorry, this is the report of your uh, table 1. Okay. So, I'm going to choose you on the query again. Next. Okay, just choose the report if you want to re uh, print out the query of that report. Okay, can you see this one? So you have the table and then you just choose the report. So it will have the report of this one, table query one. Okay, so that's it for now. So I hope you can do your individual assignment and thank you so much.